shepherd of a soul, shepherd of a soul, savior of a soul, lover of a soul. We are on the lost side. Of the earth, Father Lord, for us to come, and my Father, to celebrate you, to eat your broken body, and to drink your precious blood. Father Lord, we are so grateful, my Lord, my Father, Father Lord, as we are about to embark, my Lord, my Father, in this communion service. Father Lord, we don't want to do it, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus, nonchalantly. We don't want to do it, oh Lord Jesus, in care your wrath. We don't want any error, oh Lord Jesus. Father Lord, we earnestly ask you, oh Lord Jesus. Father Lord, to send down your Holy Spirit, our teacher, our comforter, our strengthener. Let him come right now and take preeminence. Let him come and incubate us. Let him come and take over. That we will not do anything on our own. Let everything that will be done from this now, now to the end of this communion service be done in accordance to your spirit, in accordance to your will and purpose. But at the end, only your name and name, the Lord shall be glorified and magnified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father Lord Jesus, Father Lord, we come against Lord Jesus. Every power, O oh Lord Jesus, was so that the demon have released in the atmosphere, Lord Jesus, to bring distraction, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus, to make us, my Lord, my Father, to be absent minded, Lord Jesus. Father Lord, we come against every devices, every antics of the enemy. Father Lord, we come against them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. Amen. Amen. So, Father, we therefore pray thee, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, please let our spirit, soul, and body. Let them come into agreement with your spirit this hour. Father Lord, at the end, O oh Lord Jesus, King of all glory. Father Lord, your blood and your body. What the Lord will do in our life, your own glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, I remember myself before you, Lord Jesus. Father Lord, as a vessel that I have chosen to use this hour, Lord Jesus. Father Lord, speak through me and my Lord, Father, Lord Jesus. My Lord, my Father, my Lord, not speak of my own account, Lord Jesus. Father Lord, at the end, O oh Lord Jesus, only you and you alone will take all glory. And all the blessings will be ours in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We give you all glory for in Jesus Christ's holy name, we have all prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. In the name of God, today is the first day of the month of August. Many people like me and you are dead the race of this month. But today, Many are no more. We are not rejoicing over them. Rather, we are appreciating God that deemed it necessary for me and you to be alive this day. Therefore, brethren, as we have come this hour to eat the broken body and to drink the precious blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is advisable, it is careful for us to always remind ourselves why we have the privilege, why we are favored to come and do what we are about to embark on. That is why the book of Hebrews chapter 3 verse 13 made me and you to understand. He said we should do what we should exhort one another. Daily while it is called today. Why? So that none of us will be hardened by the deceitfulness of what of sin. 
so that none of us will think, oh, I am qualified. This is my right. So that the spirit of familiarity will not creep in. So that we will not begin to do it, take advantage of it. It is always good for us to remind ourselves. And how do we do that? Through the word of God. So today, in the first day of this month, brethren, I want us together to read into the word of God. As we read, the short caption of what we are to do is Holy Communion. A selfless sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Selfless sacrifice of Jesus Christ for me and you. People that are not qualified and unmerited favor, unqualified favor, unqualified privilege that God has shown me and you. So today we're going to take our reading, a little bit long reading from the book of John. John chapter 19. John chapter 19. And I will run from verse 1 to 30. John 19 from verse 1 to 30. And I read. As we read, we begin to ponder what king, a whole king of kings, Lord of Lords, suffered in the hand of sinful men. People that he created. He allowed himself to be humiliated, he allowed himself to be scorched, he allowed himself to be ridiculed, to be put to shame, all because of me and you. So the book of John, chapter 19, from verse 1, is telling us, he said, Then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him. Verse 2, And the soldiers plated a crown of thorns and put it on his head, on the head of the king of kings, and they put on him a purple robe, verse 3, and said, Hell, king of the Jews, and they smote him with their hands. What a ridicule. They smote him with their hands. And I went forth again and said unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that ye may know that I find no fault in him. Verse 5. Then came Jesus forth, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. And Pilate said unto them, Behold the man. Look at the man you people are looking for. As if we are an Ambrumba is being arrested. Verse 6. When the chief priest, therefore, and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said unto them, Take him and crucify him. I find no fault in him. Crucify him, crucify him. Among those shouting crucify, uh, among, the, uh, among the people who were healing him, when he was healing them, when he was doing all manner of miracles for them, they, all of them are crying out, crucify him, crucify him. Verse 7, the Jews answered him, we have a law, and by our law, he ought to die, because he made himself the son of God. Verse 8, when Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was the more afraid. 9, and went again into the judgment hall and said unto Jesus, Where art thou? But Jesus gave him no answer. Why? At that point, the only thing that standing is in him is for him to save me and you. He did not deny Jesus gave him no answer. Verse 10. Then said Pilate unto him, Speaketh thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee and have power to release thee? You can see how ignorant man can be. How man can arrogate to himself a power that is not due unto him. Jesus answered, Thou couldest have no power at all against me, except it were given thee from above. Therefore, he that delivered me into the 
had the greater sin. Yes, because the book of John as well, in the book of John chapter 10, verse 18, Jesus Christ by himself, just as when Pilate was telling him, don't you know that I have the right to do this, to, to keep you alive and to kill you? And Jesus made us understand in the book of St. John chapter 10, verse 18. He said, no man take it from me. No man can take my life from me. But I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again. These commandments have I received from my father. But here, Pilate is uh, 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 running around thinking that the power is given to him. But Jesus Christ said, no man ever living or dead has the power to do what? To take my life from me. I have the power to lay it down. I have the power to take it. But for the sake of my children that's lost so much, for the sake of the children that I want to reconcile back to my father, for the sake of, the, of the, my children that I don't want their soul to go to hell, I am laying my, down, my life down for you. Now we continue in verse 12. And from hence, from henceforth, Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out, saying, If thou let this man go, thou art not Caesar's friend. Who shall make it himself a king, speaking against Caesar? Whosoever make it king of kings, Lord of Lord, the creator, a friend is not a book, a friend of Caesar. Who was created even by God, the fleeceness of man. 13. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus forth and sat down in judgment seat. And sat down in judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabata. Verse 14. And it was the preparation of the Passover. And about the sixth hour, and he said unto the Jews, Behold, you are king. Verse 15. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said unto them, Shall I crucify you, a king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. People who are so light, but darkness is better for them. The same thing that humanity is still suffering today. Verse 16. Then delivered he him therefore unto them to be crucified. And they took Jesus and led him away. Verse 17. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of skull, which is called in the Hebrew, Golgotha. At that point, Jesus Christ what he bear his cross. It's reminding me and you that in the face of what we may be passing through, in the face of what may be going through us, we must always carry our cross. It is not a time for us to deny Jesus. It is not a time for us to murmur or to accuse him. Jesus Christ at that very point, that's so painful, the Bible says he still carried his cross. Verse 18, where they crucified him and two other with him, on either side one, and Jesus in the midst. 19, and Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross, and the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. Verse 20. This title then read many of the Jews. For the place where Jesus was crucified was near to the city. And it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. 21. Then said the chief priest of the Jews to the Pilate, Write not the king of the Jews, but that he said, I am the king of the Jews. Pilate answered, what I have written, I have written. 23. Then the soldiers, when they had crucified Jesus, took his garments and made four parts to every soldier a part and also his coat. Now the coat was without, without sin, woven from the top throughout. 24. They said, they said therefore among themselves, let us not rend it, but cast love for it. Whose it shall be, that the scripture might be fulfilled, which said, they parted my remnant among them, and for my vesture they did cast lots. These things therefore the soldiers did. 25. Now they are stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. 26. When Jesus therefore saw his mother, 
and disciples standing by, whom he loved, he said unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Woman, behold thy son. 27. Then said he to the disciples, Behold thy mother. And from that hour, that his disciples took her unto his own home. 28. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, he said, I test, that the scripture might be fulfilled. The Bible reminded me and you at this juncture in the book of uh, Mark, Mark chapter 14, verse 21, that the Son of Man indeed goeth as it is written of him. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him. Mark 24, verse 21. But word to that man by whom the, the man is betrayed. Good were it for him that that man never be born. The Son of Man goeth as it is written concerning him. As the Father have sent him as a sacrificial lamb to stand in the gap that without his life, it will be quite impossible for me and you to see the face of God again in glory, to reconcile back to him. He agreed to go as his father had sent him. The same way the Holy Communion is reminding me and you that we need to ask God the grace on a daily basis that our Christian life, let it go in accordance to what he has written concerning me and you. That on the last day, we'll be able to have a fire be presented to him. Verse 29. Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge of and they filled a sponge with vinegar and put it upon a hyssop and put it to his mouth. Verse 30, our last day for now. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the host. Beloved, this is an account of what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ went because of me, because of you, in order to save us, in order for us not to see that gate of hell. Because who am I? That's what the Bible asks. He said, what is man that you are so mindful of him? What is man? And greater love hath no man than this, that a man can lay down his life. Look at the account. A whole king of kings, world of lords. They naked him. They scourged him. They spied on him. They ridiculed him. They put a taunt on his head. Make fun of him. King of the Jews. And at the end, they stripped him naked. They, they, in his remnant, they share, they, they cast lots. What a ridicule. What a shame that Jesus Christ suffered for me and you. And that is why, as we have gathered this hour, it's reminding me and you that what you are about to take, it is not a religious exercise. It is not a religious ceremony. It is something that reminds me and you that throws our mind in retrospect for us to be able to remember what Jesus Christ did suffer for me and you and why it is necessary for us to serve him in true holiness and righteousness. At this point, brethren, I want us to open our mouths either we kneel down or we stand up as it pleases you to cry unto the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Say, Lord Jesus, through your account that you have refreshed my memory again, Lord Jesus, in any way, oh Lord Jesus, that my love for you is getting cold, is waxing cold, oh Lord Jesus. My Lord and my Father, having realized what you passed through for me on the cross of Calvary, but Lord, as I have the privilege, my Lord, my Father, once again to drink your precious blood and eat your broken body, but Lord, King of all glory, revive me again, oh Lord Jesus. But Lord, rekindle your love in my life. Rekindle your love back your Holy Spirit in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father and my God, Baba. Father, Lord, Baba, the love I have for you, Baba, is waxing cold, oh God, Baba. Father, come and please rekindle your love, oh God, Baba, in me, Baba. Father, come and rekindle your love in me, Baba. Father, please come and rekindle your love in me, Baba. Come and put your fear in me, Baba. Father, put your fear in me, rekindle your love in me, Baba. Father, that love that I have for you, Baba. Father, Lord, it is waxing cold, oh God. As I come to drink at your table, Baba, and eat your blood, oh Baba, eat your broken body. Father, come and connect me back to you, Baba. Father, connect me back to you, Baba. Father, Lord, Baba, come and rekindle your fire in me, rekindle your love in me, rekindle your fear in me, my, ch my children, Baba. Father, Lord, as I, as I dine at your table this hour, Baba. Father, please come and rekindle your love in me, Baba. Father, rekindle, Baba, your fear in me, Baba. Father, come and rekindle your father in me, Baba. Father, please, oh God, Baba. Father, please, in your mercy, Baba, rekindle your father in me, Baba. Father, in your mercy, Baba. Father, come and rekindle your love, Baba, in me, Baba. Father, rekindle your fear in me, Baba. Father, let me fear you, Baba. Father, help me, Baba, to fear you, Baba. Help me, Baba, to love you, Baba, like never before, Baba. Father, Lord, Baba, help me. Father, help me, Baba, to love you, Baba, like never before. Father, I am sorry, Baba. Father, we you your fire in me. Father, we feel you your fire in me. Father, we feel you your fire in me. Beloved, I want us to open our mouth again and ask God Almighty. Remember what you just read in that book of Mark 14 21? He said, The Son of Man indeed goeth as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the man, the Son of God, is betrayed. We're going to ask God. Say, Father, in any way, in any manner, that my behavior, that my character is amounting to the betrayer of your name. Father, Lord, please have mercy. Deliver me today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth. Ask God this hour in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father and my God, Baba. Father, in any way, Baba. My name or my character, Baba. Father, is amounting to the betrayer of your name. Father, mercy upon my soul. Daddy, Father, deliver me, Baba. Father, deliver me, Baba. Father, Lord, in any way, Baba, my way, so go, Baba, my God, so go, Baba. Father, is augmenting my mountain, oh God, Baba, to the betrayer of your name, oh God, Baba. Father, I am sorry, Baba, mercy upon my soul, Daddy. Have mercy upon my soul, Baba. Father, Lord, in any way, Baba. Father, my way, my character, oh God, Baba. Father, Lord, is a mountain to the betrayer of your name, oh God. Daddy, Yes, I come to your presence, oh God, Baba. I put you upon my soul, Daddy. Father, I put you upon my soul, Baba. In any way, Baba. My character, oh Lord, Baba. My weight, oh Lord, Baba. Father, Lord, is a mountain to the betrayer of your neighbor, God. Daddy, I put you upon my soul, Daddy. Father, I put you upon my soul, Baba. Father, help me, Baba. Father, so that this my character will not take me to hell, Baba. Father, Lord, I. I am so sorry, Baba. Father, have mercy upon my soul, Daddy. Have mercy upon my soul, Baba. Father, help me, Baba. As I have gathered in your presence, oh God, Baba. Father, Lord, in any way, Baba, my character, Baba. In the mouth of God, Baba. We are brave. Amen. Beloved, because this month that we have entered today, by the mercy of God has been captured a month of our manifesting our divine position in Christ in total obedience. We're going to ask God. 
Say, Father Lord, as I partake your holy table today, as I drink your precious blood, I eat your broken body. Father Lord, I receive that spirit of humility, that spirit of obedience for me to occupy my divine position in you. I receive it today through your broken body and precious blood in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hope you have God this hour. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father and my God, Baba, I come to your presence, O God. Baba, I receive the spirit of humility, Baba. Father, Lord, I receive the spirit of humility, Baba. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my God, Baba, I receive the spirit of humility. As I come to dine at your table, Baba. Father, Lord, I come to present you, Baba. Father, Lord, I receive the spirit of humility, Baba. I receive that spirit of Baba. Father, I receive that Baba. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I we cannot occupy our divine position with a corrupted mind. We are going to cry as the psalmist cried in that book of Psalm 51 verse 10. He said, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as I drink your precious blood today, as I eat your broken body, Father, Lord, purge me, my Lord, my Father. Father, Lord, cleanse me, my Lord, my Father, with your precious blood. Give me a clean heart, my Lord, my Father. Renew your right spirit within me, Lord Jesus, as I take my right position in you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hope you have asked God this hour. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, and my God, Baba. Father, peace as I come to your presence, O God, Father, for my giving, pure heart, O God. Father, peace as I come to your presence, Within me, come and take away every bush of me in my surrounding, Baba. Father, please, oh God, Father, create me a clean heart, oh God, Baba. Father, please, Father, my heart, for my father, the only possession in my heart, oh God. Father, please, come and put me, come and take away every bush of me, oh God, Baba, with this head in my surrounding. Father, please, let me pray, Baba. Father, Lord, I have come to dine at your table, Baba. Father, come. So that as we pray this our soul shall it be in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Are you out there? You have not given your life to Jesus Christ. Satan will not allow you. To be able to see and embrace the selfless sacrifice that Jesus Christ offered for you and for me. And for your spiritual eyes to open, for you to truly appreciate what God Almighty, by His infinite mercy, have done for you. The blood that He shed on the cross of Calvary, sinless and spotless, that blood that is capable of cleansing of purging, of sanctifying, and restoring back to him. Avail yourself this opportunity and give your life back unto him and his blood and his broken body will begin to work for you. So if you are there, you want to give your life unto him, not by compulsion, but willingly. So please repeat this your prayer of confession and mercy after me. The Lord Jesus, I have had your word. Through the account of what you have read, I have seen what you, the king of all kings, the lord of all lords, went through in the hand of a mere sinful man because of me. I sincerely ask you for mercy that I have not all these years known this truth. But today, because of the love that you have for my soul, you counted me worthy 
to be among their children, to be able to hear your word. Lord Jesus, today, I surrender my life unto you. I ask you, come into my life. From now on, be my Lord and personal Savior. Come and take over the totality of my being. In your mercy, that made you to go to the cross. Father Lord, let my name be blotted away from the book of death. And let your mercy transform my name to the book of life. Father Lord, as I partake your holy table today, as unqualified as I am, but your mercy has qualified me, you drink your precious blood into your broken body. Father Lord, I receive the grace, my Lord, my Father. From now on, take my rightful position, my divine position in you, to be able to walk the journey of my life with you. In your mercy, uphold me with your righteous hand. Please, Lord, do not allow me to slip out of your hand. Through your broken body and precious blood, I receive the power, the strength, Father Lord, to walk with you, never to weary and never to tire until I be able to see you on the last day in glory. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Beloved, as many of this opportunity to give our life unto Jesus, I want to tell you that heaven is right now rejoicing and we in this mountain we heartily rejoice with you and we pray that God Almighty is infinite mercy who always make his broken body and precious blood in, our, in us that we are about to take to always remind us what he has done for us that no man, not even our father or mother can ever do it for us so that we can be able to know how to serve him in sincerity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I pray with you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, as many, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, that I have used the opportunity, my Lord, my Father, to embrace back into your own fold, Lord Jesus, as they confess their sins and forsake them, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, may you always keep them, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus. You know, for glory, your mercy, in your name, let us away from the book of death. Let your name be transferred to the book of life. Amen. Lord, as they partake your holy temple, my Lord, my Father, with all your children, as we have gathered, my Lord, my Father, Father, Lord, they and we also, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, we receive, my Lord, my Father, the grace, Amen. the strength, we receive the power, oh Lord Jesus. My Lord, my Father, to walk with you, my Lord, my Father, as you, Amen. Lord, Father, Father, Lord, even at the point of death, the Bible says you carry your cross as we partake your holy temple today. Father, Lord, the grace for us to carry our cross, my Lord, my Father, and to follow you, my Lord, my God, and never to deny you. Father, Lord, we receive it today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Lord, Father, Lord, Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, in any area, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, at any point, my Lord, my Father, that any of us is weak, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, King of all glory, in our state of weakness. Father, Lord, let our weakness, my Lord, my Father. Father, Lord, overcome the strength of our enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Lord, thank you, worship you. We give you all the glory. But in Jesus Christ's holy name, we have all prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Master Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's take uh, the leader, please, a minute or a minute and a half. Worship as we prepare our tables. Lord of Jesus, have set me free. Have set me free. Have set me free. The blood of Jesus has set me free. Has set me free. I am free. The blood of Jesus.
Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our most holy Father, holy in nature, Amen. merciful and righteous. Lord, we adore you, worship you. Amen. Father, we lift up your name above every other name. Amen. You are the King of Kings. That is why at the mention of your name, every name will surely bow. Yes, Amen. It is non-negotiable. Every tongue must surely confess that you alone are God. Amen. Father, we thank you for whom you are. Thank you, thank Jesus. You, Jesus. Father Lord, we are so grateful that we have a father like you. Thank you, Jesus thank Christ. You, Jesus. And thank you for accepting us, my Lord, my Father, even in our weakness. To be our father. Lord, we thank you, worship you. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Father Lord, here we are. It is a manifestation of your deep love for us. Thank you, Jesus Christ. What you are about to do, we are not qualified. Yes, Lord. Here we are because of your mercy. Amen. You made it possible. You qualified me and my brethren. Father, we really appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Father, we really thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father as our hands are lifted unto you, Father, is a sign of submission because you are always a winner. Yes, Lord. We ask you, O oh Lord Jesus, to look into the emblems in the hands of your children. Amen. Father, please, what is that thing, my Lord, my Father, that is poisonous? What is that thing that's contaminating or polluting? That will render what you are about to do to be null and void. Father, please take that away now in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. Amen. Amen. And most holy Father, we ask you, O oh Lord Jesus, is there any defiled hands that must have touched these emblems, either during production or during the chain of distribution? Father, Lord, let those hands be removed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord and our Father, we want to enter into a new communion with you. Amen. Our Lord Jesus. That is why we pray the O oh Lord Jesus. Is there any covenant? Is there any agreement? That the owners of the emblems in our hand must have entered with the powers of darkness. Father Lord, that will get us entangled to come that we don't know about. Father, we ask you this time. In your power, oh Lord Jesus, every of such covenant agreements, Father Lord, let them be annulled. Let them be rendered not of no effect. Be cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Holy Father, King of all glory, we therefore ask thee. Father Lord, as you have cancelled anything that's of you, Lord Jesus, 
Father Lord, you are children we ask you, Lord, Lord Jesus, for you to speak your word of life into the emblems we have raised before you. Father Lord, let it bread, let it turn to be your broken body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Father, the same way, speak your word of life into the cup we are lifted before you. Father Lord, let it drink, my Lord, my Father, turn to be your precious blood in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 My Lord and my God, as we stand here, my Lord, my Father, to eat and to drink, representing our individual lineages, my Lord, my Father. Father, we pray, as your word has said in that book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 19, he said, for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Father Lord, in every area, oh Lord Jesus, Father Lord, I will not be manifesting you, Lord Jesus. Father Lord, as we eat today, Madam, my Father, keep us from glory. Let the power that is your blood, let the power that is your blood, but the body, Lord Jesus, Father Lord, let you begin to bring, my Lord, my Father, a first manifestation of you in us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Lord, my Father, in the same way, is there anything, my Lord, my Father, that people outside there are waiting to see in our life before they will surrender to you to know that actually we are serving a real God? My Lord, my Father, as we eat today, my Lord, my God, King of all glory, Father Lord, through your broken body, through your precious blood, Father Lord, let there be a manifestation. Let your glory, my Lord, my Father, or cover our life, Lord Jesus. For the Lord that will draw souls back to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Holy Father, we ask you again, my Lord, my Father, today marks the beginning of the month of August 2018. Father Lord, as we take your broken body, Father Lord, and drink your precious blood, Father Lord, the grace, the power, the strength, oh Lord Jesus, for us to truly take our divine position in you. For us to be unshakable, my Lord, my Father, and immovable. Father Lord, we receive it through your blood and your broken body today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Almighty, we ask you, O oh Lord Jesus, Father Lord, anything, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus, that he did not create with us, my Lord, my Father. Father Lord, but adventure we have been carried all along, O oh Lord Jesus. You have been following us, my Lord, my Father, even from the beginning of the year. Father Lord, today marks the eighth month of the year. Father, King of all glory, as we enter into a new month today. Amen. Lord, no plant in our life, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, let your broken body and your precious blood terminate it out of our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord Jesus, Father, King of all glory, as we have prayed, my Lord, my Father, Father, Lord, we cannot take our divine position in you with a corrupted heart or mind, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, as we eat and drink today, Lord Jesus, let your broken body and precious blood, Lord Jesus, let it purify, sanctify our soul, spirit, and body, my Lord, my Father, and renew your right spirit in us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, my God, King of all glory, Father Lord, as your children, I will gather Lord Jesus to eat and drink today, Lord Jesus. Father Lord, in any area that we are growing with, Father, my Father, spiritually, Lord Jesus. Father Lord, let your broken body and precious blood, Lord Jesus. Let it reinvigorate us, Lord Jesus. Let it rekindle, my Lord, my Father, your fire in us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, oh, oh Lord Jesus, as we eat today, my Lord, my Father, on that day, oh Lord Jesus, that you gather your children in your kingdom, that you have promised, Lord Jesus. Father Lord, no one in this party will be found wanting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh Lord Jesus, we gather us, my Lord, my Father, at your feet as we celebrate as we are overcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you, we worship you, we give you all glory and honor in Jesus Christ's holy name. We have all prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. So quickly, brethren, uh, we open our Bible as we pray through the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 26, and I read from verse 26. So, and as they were eating, Jesus took bread, let's take our bread, and blessed it, and break it, and gave it to the disciples and said, take it. This is my body. Beloved, let us solemnly and meditatively eat the broken body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Verse 27. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. 28. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. 29. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Beloved, with a heart of appreciation, humility, and solemnness, let us drink the precious and sinless blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Beloved, let's open our mouth this hour. Let's begin to adore the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Let's begin to appreciate him, the qualified of the unqualified that has made it possible for me and you to be able to eat his broken body and drink the precious blood. Let's begin to thank him for what his body and precious blood have done and continue to do in your, in your life, in my life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, my Father and my God, Father, we say thank you, Baba. Father, we give you the praise, oh God, we give you the adoration. Daddy, Father, we say thank you, Baba, for what your blood has done again in my life, oh God. Father, I say thank you for your broken body, Baba. Father, I say thank you for your purging. Father, Lord, I say thank you, Baba, for your sanctification. Baba, Father, Lord, I say thank you for your purification, Baba. Father, may your name be praised forevermore. May your name be adored, Baba, forevermore, Baba. Daddy, I say thank you. Thank you, Baba. Father, Lord, I say thank you for your blood. Thank you for your broken body. Father, we say thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the adoration. Father, we honor you, Baba. Father, we adore you, Baba. We say may your name be praised forevermore. May your Jesus. name be adored forevermore. Thank you for Jesus. what you have done Thank you, Lord Jesus. Baba, we In thank you. Jesus Christ, mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord Almighty, that I am that I am, unchangeable God, the one that spoke and he came to pass, Lord, King of all glory, we thank you, we worship you, we adore you. Jesus. Thank you, my Lord, my Father, for your broken body and your precious blood that you are given to your children, my Lord, my Father, all through because of your mercy, not by our own self-righteousness, not by our own qualification, but your mercy qualified us, my Lord, my Father. Lord Jesus, as we have eaten, my Lord, my Father, and drank your precious blood, Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. Lord, the grace, oh Lord Jesus, King of all glory, that the Lord, for us to be, whom you have created us to be to your own glory, Father Lord, we receive it today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus, I am that I am. Father Lord, the race for the new month have started, Lord Jesus. Father Lord, the grace, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus. Father Lord, for us to live a life, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus. Father Lord, that is worthy, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus, of your acceptance, Lord Jesus. For us, to, for us to live the life, Lord Jesus, King of Foglo, Lord Jesus, that will be pleasing to you, my Lord, my Father. Father, Lord, with the same, my Lord, my Father, I pray through your broken body, I pray Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In any area, Lord Jesus, that any of us is weak, my Lord, my Father, spiritually, physically, Lord Jesus, my Lord, my Father, Father, thank you through your broken body, I pray Lord, Lord, my Lord, strength will be released to that soul in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, thank you for spiritual empowerment, my Lord, my Father. Thank you for divine healing, Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Lord, my Father, because I know yokes have been broken through your broken body and precious blood in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Today, Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, it shall be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, anything that wants to bring contamination or pollution, Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, let such things, my Lord, Father, be far from us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Lord, we thank you, we worship you, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray thee, my Lord, my Father. Father, Lord, is there any error, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus, any mistake, Lord, Lord Jesus, in this communion service, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray for your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord, my Father. Amen. Lord, broken body, precious blood will not stand against us, Lord Jesus. 
Father, ancient of days, it will help us, Father, my Father, to propel us, Lord Jesus, or to be able to meet you in the in glory on the last day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We give you glory, we give you honor, for in Jesus Christ's holy name, we have all prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's give God a clap.